The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We've got two guests today. Tom Hugard is going to call in early, and then right after that at the break, the big break, at 930, we're going to have Dr. David Paul. So we're pretty lucky. We've got some questions that people have been asking to ask Tom, so that'll be fun. I posted the chart of the DAX 15-minute chart, as you can see here. Uh, we completed that big ABCD on the daily up there at 12,980. Uh, we broke down quite a bit over the last few days, and we rallied back to the 78% level, just like we're doing in our stock market. They're almost a mirror image of each other. Now, if we take a look at the German DAX, you're going to see uh, a totally different picture. This one has been in a downtrend uh, for quite some time. I think they're waiting to see if uh, <laughs> negative interest rates again. Yeah, I don't know about that. Just a minute. Um, uh, oh no, Tom is supposed to be calling at. Uh, uh, he's supposed to call in at. Uh, could you call him back and let him know he's supposed to call in early if he could, please? Because I had David Paul coming in at 9:30. I thought that's uh, the way it was supposed to. See if he could do that for me. I'll give him a call. Um, all right, thank you. Anyway, you'll notice here on the FTSE folks, we came down on. You see point D down there. We stopped right at the. Uh, 78% uh, level, 50, excuse me, 50% level of that previous low way back in early October. And then we've had a little bit of a rally, nothing more than a 382, you know, very, very quiet, of course. And then I wanted to share with you uh, one other one that's uh, really uh, in the news quite a bit, and that is uh, the Bitcoin. We'll get this up here. Uh, okay. I'll, oh, boy, we're in trouble now. Oh, shucks. Uh, 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 I, I can't do I can't do it while I'm doing this uh, the show, Tom or uh, uh, Al. I'm just not able to. Sorry, folks, for the interruption, but I'm trying to get. Um, here's the Bitcoin chart. Uh, just give me a second. Take a look at study this Bitcoin chart, folks. You guys are going to be tested on it in just a minute. I need to get in touch with Tom to see if uh, you know. And uh, hold on. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think I got him now. This should work okay. Yep, I was able to contact him. He'll be back on real quickly, and we'll be able to look at. He's he's going to be start trading um, uh, Bitcoin, I guess, is what he mentioned to me. So we'll see. Those of you that got his book, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. I've only been able to go through a few pages. Forty-five thousand words, folks, from a super trader. Hundred and eighty-one pages, double-sided is uh, like 90 pages, so it's uh, really, uh, really quite cool. Anyway, uh, you should get the book. It's free. And, uh, you, know, I th you, know, and you, know, you don't get to get in the side of the head of somebody like him very often. So I think uh, he really takes a lot of time to try to show folks what he's doing. And I'll tell you what, I can make a prediction right here. This time is limited because he's going to get tired. And uh, he's probably going to have a... Uh, you know, I, that's just my two cents worth, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's move on here to the next one we want to show, which is the, uh, the chart of the German Bund. As you'll notice here, this is a chart, four-hour chart. Let's get it up here so everybody can see it. You see the German bun come down, didn't quite make the 61% retracement, and now it's in the midst of having a rally, much like we did in our bonds today. The bond sold off about a point. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he runs pretty much 24 hours just like I do. We all, all the traders that are in this stuff. I mean, when you get older, you got to get up in the middle of the night a lot, so that makes it real easy. But, you know, I'm pretty lucky, though. You know, stop, stop and think, folks. I don't have any major illnesses. I've been going along for almost eight decades and still got a lot of good friends. Most of us, a lot of my friends have passed on. But uh, actually, I love doing what I'm doing, and I, uh, you know, uh, that's about all I can tell you. At least I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, retiring like some people do. You know, that's the main thing. 
Uh, okay, now, Al, it says that the phone is tied up, is what it's, Tom is telling me. So I don't know what that means, but we'll try to get him on whenever we can. That's all I can say. Uh, I wanted to bring a, a couple other charts here that uh, we were watching uh, for today. One, of, of course, is the natural gas. I want to, uh, where is that natural gas chart? Please don't, oh dear, I had it right there in front. Uh, here it is. Ah, this is what I want to do. Hold on a second here. Hey, anyway, maybe we'll have him on here. Yeah, well, it worked early in the morning, but it's not working now. Let's take a quick look at natural gas, folks. I wanted to show you something that I was watching here because it just about made the exact, uh, get this thing up here to take a look at it. This is the natural gas yesterday when we were talking about it. And you'll see over since the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st, you'll notice that we had that three drive to a top pattern. Now, Folks, let me explain to you about three drives to a top. That original pattern started with a guy named George Cole, Keys to Speculation. I believe the book was 1932, 33, somewhere in that point. Gartley had it in his book. He named it something a little differently. Um, uh, John Hill had it in his book. He named it something differently. Um, Linda Radsky calls it Three Little Indians. But the, what you have to do is to look at that. And it, the question is, if you have to ask the question, is it a three drive to a top pattern? It most probably isn't. It should just jump out. There should be really good symmetry. You notice the symmetry between 29 and 30 and 30 and 31? That's exactly what you want to see. You want to see a higher high, then a pullback, higher high. And then finally, on that third drive, you break down and you usually make a 1.618 expansion of that whole range. And that would bring you in at 2.55. That's what you'd be looking at. So just that's what you really need to do. Someone asked that question. I wanted to try to relay it to you. Now, remember now, we've come down almost 20 handles today from uh, yesterday to today in the uh, uh, the, na the, the natural gas. We were looking. This is, this is where we got out of it originally. So if you want to get back into natural gas, this is the time to do it because you got a $20, $20 handle, 2000 bucks. you know, that you're getting. It. That's why, folks, that rule that you're dealing with, uh, of, you know, not real, one of the fears of leaving money on the table, you got to get used to that because you're never going to get the, well, you're going to get the high tick once in a while, but not very often. That's the whole key, you know, to what we're watching here as we look at some of these things. So keep in mind, that's what, uh, that's what's happening as we uh, glance through some of these things here this morning. Okay, let's see what else we've got going here. Uh, all righty, we've got, uh, okay, uh, move up here just to make, I have to change an order, boys and girls. Just give me one second and get the old cowboys uh, moving here. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, other, I'll make another uh, one. Okay. Okay, let's move on here to the next one here. And uh, okay, any other questions? 877-927-6648. That's what we're looking for here in the old uh, Pueblo to see how things are moving. We got down to uh, 57, 257 in natural gas, so that ought to be it. Uh -huh. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Tom Hugard on the line. Tom, are you there? This time I'm using a phone line and not Skype, so hopefully people, listeners, will be able <laughs> oh. to hear what I have to say. Oh, yes, it's perfect coming in. Tom, we've had a lot of people that have downloaded your book, but still a few people haven't. Could you tell them the email that they go to to get the book? Sure. Should, should I grease it with a comment about what the book is about, just in case people don't uh, well, download we've been something talking, that they're not we, interested we, in? No, no, they're all interested in it because we've been chatting about it for uh, several days now. So I'm certainly right. they're all interested because you don't get to get into the mind of a, a super trader very often, and you're certainly in that class. So why don't you tell them uh, how to email okay. it? Well, if they email me, I'll send it to them as a PDF. It's uh, hello at tradertom.com. So hello at tradertom.com. Oh, that's simple enough. That's pretty good. Tom, the question uh, that has come up twice uh, is uh, how do you prepare, because uh, you're, you're a very active trader, how do you prepare in the morning? What are, how's your, you know, I don't leave, it, leave out the wheatgrass milkshakes, but uh, sure. <laughs> tell, uh, tell the folks how you get started. <clears throat> Excluding the wheatgrass cocktails and uh, all the prana <laughs> positions, uh, I, I specifically use a kind of therapy I call aversion therapy. It is, I know that my mind is a, is a frail little muscle that needs constant reassuring. And I know from my experience over the years as a high, high stake trader that if I don't mentally prepare, then I don't stand a chance to trade the way I want to trade. Now, I can do an hour's technical analysis or two hours technical analysis in the morning, but if I haven't mentally prepared my mind to trade, then I might as well not have done any kind of technical analysis preparation at all. And so the way I do this very specifically is I, I have, and I'm going to sound very uh, specific now, so forgive me for this, but I actually take my old trades, the ones that I am disgusted with, and there's plenty of those to choose from, and I have plotted my entry and my exit after the trade was over. And it will very often illuminate some of the propensities that I have had in the past, which is try 
try to fish for a low when the market is in a bear trend or try to find the top so I can go short. Because I think our minds naturally gra gra gravitate towards wanting to find value. And if we are looking to sell short the market, then, well, the higher we can sell short, the better. But often that actually means that we are trading against the trend and vice versa and we were trying to find a low in a downtrend. So what I need to remind my brain when I go into the, uh, um, to the battlefield, so to speak, is that it is perfectly natural and perfectly fine to think these things, but actually you need to turn your thinking upside down. So instead of seeing the market rallying and thinking I would like to go short, you need to have, my, you have, you need to have your mind prepared for, for the possibility it's going to be a trend day. And a trend day happens about 20% uh, of all trading days are trend days. And it's a, something that you have very elegantly described in your book, The Opening Price Principle, whereby you state that within the first 30 minutes, you're going to see the high of the day or the low of the day, and that will take place 85% of the time. Sorry, that, that in itself won't take place 85% of the time, but when it happens, you are going to find that the close will almost certainly be at the opposite extreme of where the open is. And those are the days that I make most money on is when I can latch onto a trend day and then I can accumulate and accumulate throughout the day and then close towards the end. Those are the gold mine days. But if you're not prepared for that and, and you're just going in with a fr the frame of mind of you want to scalp singles, well, scalping singles, it's it's, it can be fun if, if we're in a range-bound market, but no one wants to make 100 points in the Dow if there's 300 points on the table. And it was something that you specifically elaborated, uh, alluded to just before you went off air. You're saying you, you never know when, when the low is going to be or when the high is going to be, and you're always going to leave some profits on the table. So what you really have to ask yourself, and this is the exercise, the mental uh, exercise that I go through in the morning is, what's going to upset you most? that you make 100 points and the market rallies another 200 points, or that you, you could have made 100 points, but you only made 50 points because the market pulled back. So that's the, the I need to remind myself to, to go through this mental exercise before I even start looking at the charts. Otherwise, I'm going to go in and I'm going to be stone cold um, before I even get started. Wow, that's really good thinking, Tom, to reverse that thinking that way. The second person, a uh, second question that um, someone... Larry, may I, may I add a little something to what I just said, please? T Tom, please take the mic. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, because it's very important. You see, the way that the mind works is, is we are an elaborate instrument. So one of the things that I have spent a lot of time studying myself is what compels me more, fear or hope? or greed or, or abject misery. And in reality, and, and it might just be that the way my mind is put together, but I am far more inclined to move away from something than I am to move towards something. So when I, what I mean by that is that, I, that you will find a much, much greater motivator in moving away from a certain kind of behavior rather than moving towards a certain behavior. So it may seem a little grim. It may seem a little grotesque to be reminded yourself every morning on how atrocious that you have traded in the past. But to me, it is an incredibly strong motivator to then go in and think the right way and do the right way. And you know, our, our, our mutual friend, Mark Doctors, he said in the first line of the first chapter of, of, of his, his greatest book uh, ever, Trading in His Own, he says, good traders simply think differently. And the advantage that I have is that I spent 10 years on a trading floor watching about 100 million trades being executed by retail traders. And one of the things they all had in common was that they loved to short a market that was going up, and they loved to buy a market that was falling. And I need to remind myself that if I want to be in the 10% category or in the 1% category, I need to do everything in my mind, everything in my power to avoid that kind of behavior. I just wanted to wow. uh, um, uh, attach that little comment to what I had just said. Wow, that's fabulous. Tom, when we discussed, uh, you're going to try to come on every Friday for a while, maybe to do a 10-minute segment with us? It would be a great honor if you would let me, but I'm sure people <laughs> would get bored with my Danish accent oh, eventually. Oh, I can, I can I'm here. 
I can promise you that. That's not their I have one other question that someone uh, someone asked is, what was the most frustrating uh, part of switching over from, you know, scalping like you were doing to becoming a, uh, you know, really super trader? Did you have any particular memory that you had where something yes. might have? Uh, could you just share yes. that with us? Yes, it's gratification. Mm -hmm. we, we have a mind that is incessant need of gratification, and the sooner we get the gratification, the better. Just think of all the, the, the slimming books in the world. Uh, it, it, losing weight is perhaps not the rocket science. We just need to eat less calories. But if you're selling a product, if you can promise someone to lose 10 pounds in a month, you're in a much better position than if someone who promised to lose 10 pounds in six months. So our minds naturally gravitate towards the instant gratification. And when you're scalping, you don't have to wait very long before you're, you're gratified or that you're being stopped out. And so the, 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 the biggest challenge I had was to actually delay that gratification. Okay, Tom, listen, we'll have you on next Friday. Okay, buddy? That sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tom Hugard, Tom the Trader. We'll be right back, folks, with David Paul. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Dr. David Paul on the line. David, are you there? Yes, Larry. How are you, sir? Can you hear me Very all right? Good. 
You're very uh, coming in perfectly. We just finished a nice segment with uh, your uh, prize pupil, Tom Hugard. And one, of, <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things I'd like to cover, I don't know if you have that graph uh, of the heads and tails thing that you demonstrated uh, when we were in London at the seminar. Do you have that graph by any chance? I hope so. I hope so. I hope we were talking about the same thing, Larry. Yes. Yeah, you know where uh, it shows the number so, of heads and tails in a run and what happens, you know. Yeah, you, sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, That's sure. I think, I think I've got that. I think I've got if that. You could, yeah. If you could post it into the room, I don't know how, uh, either send it to me or post it into the room. And tell the folks what it's about, because I think uh, once they see the graph, they'll get an ex uh, explanation of what Tom does and does it so successfully. Oh, they have it. Okay. You, they've got it. We're ready to go. You can discuss it, my friend. Fire away. Okay. Well, uh, good morning. It's uh, to everyone in the U.S. Uh, uh, I started with this last week, and I start uh, with the first slide as to why this can be so darn difficult for so many people. And uh, this is this whole concept of clusters. Uh, and uh, if you're over 30, you'll probably realize that there was times in your life when things went well and times in your life when everything you touched fell apart. Uh, and uh, if you've got a 50% system, in other words, you write 50% of the time, you can make a hell of a lot of money with that system if you make three or four times more when you write than you lose them when you're wrong. But the mathematical certainty is that a half times a half times a half times a half times a half is one over 32. And uh, that means that you've got five bad ones in a row and five good ones in a row every 32 trades. And uh, the challenge, of course, is uh, being able to put your trading system on uh, without fear uh, and uh, without hesitation after five bad ones. And it's far from being easy, much easier to talk about than it is to do it. If you push up the hit rate uh, uh, to 66 over 100, then these clusters are still there. But uh, in terms of frequency, they go away. So you only have a cluster of five bad ones every 250 trades. And that's what I'm doing with the Vector S product in the stock market. I, we put together shares with really, really good fundamentals uh, and uh, use technical entries. And that, in fact, uh, pushes the hit rate up. And when I'm at my get it right about eight times out of 10 by combining the fundamentals and the technicals. But I think uh, that's a, a, a chart of clusters, folks, and that happens to everybody. Uh, so you've got to get your mind around that. So uh, I think that this is the charts uh, that uh, Larry was alluding to. Uh, and uh, these are charts that I've taken out of a gambling book on a course that I went in gambling in Vegas oh, uh, 25 years ago. And the first chart is a martingale system. Uh, and the martingale system is that you bet a tenner on red if the tenner, 10 pounds, if the tenner, if the red comes in, you win a tenner. And uh, that's what you get after a, a run of seven uh, good ones in a row. Okay, you, you make uh, $70. It's not the end of the, not great. Uh, the downside of that betting methodology is uh, you double up, in fact, when you're uh, incorrect. So uh, this is my, my dear old granddad used to do with the horses. So he would bet the second favorite. If the second favorite didn't come in, he would double the bet on the second favorite on the next race and so forth. Uh, but the problem with that, folks, is if you keep doubling up, you've got to bet a fortune just to get your tenor back. Now, when I went on that course, in Vegas, it was on roulette. And we were taught a reverse Martin Gale strategy. This was in, okay, uh, 1991 odd. And uh, let's say that you've got a reverse Martin Gale strategy. You're playing red and black, uh, up or down. Uh, if you bet a tenner and you lose, uh, you in fact lose uh, $10. So if you've got the most ghastly streak of bad luck uh, you're in fact down seventy dollars. Now, if your if your money management is good, uh, that's not the end of the world. But here's what happens when you have a run of good luck, uh, where you bet a tenner and you win a tenner. And the next, you actually apply a reverse Martin Martin Guild strategy, where in fact on the next bet you bet twenty. And if you have a run of good luck. 
you can actually get right up to you turn your ten dollars into twelve hundred and seventy dollars and this was the very first time larry uh, that i thought about mathematically adding to winners and the benefits of adding to winners and wow. that's what i got across to uh, uh tom when we first got together he's the finest big fella uh, and uh, that he's uh, mentally stronger i think than i am and he's managed uh, to be able to put that together in an intraday environment, uh, which is quite mm -hmm. a challenge. Uh, so uh, the, the normal martingale system is what my, say, my granddad used to do. And when I play this on the roulette wheel, I have been kicked out of many a casino for doing this. Now, if, you, if the red comes up and you bet the red again, everybody looks at you as if you're a total idiot. Uh, and, <laughs> I'm aware of so, that. I've been on that table many years ago. <laughs> so all of a sudden you get three reds in a row and now you're doubling up uh, that the red will come up again. Uh, then uh, they look at you as if you're complete and utter eejit. Uh So uh, adding to winners uh, is a very relatively easy way to make some money, especially in the trades that I use with the Vectivest Best product uh, uh, where we put together shares with great fundamentals that are moving up the page uh, mm -hmm. and uh, adding to those. Now, we've been in a ghastly range in the American stock market and in the UK stock market for quite a long time. So adding to winners hasn't worked as well as it did, but in a very good trending market, uh, then adding to winners, in fact, means that uh, if you get a streak of winners, uh, and these streaks come up all the time. Uh, if you've got the strength and what I call in the seminars the testicular fortitude to add to winners, uh, then uh, that's to keep people awake in the seminars, Larry, just like you. Yeah, well, I never have any trouble when you, you're really an eloquent speaker, as folks can listen to here. He really knows his stuff. But I'll tell you, uh, when you showed that stuff in uh, London, I mean, the people's eyes just popped out of their heads, David. I mean, it was really, well, it was really just, spectacular to see the relationship that was there. Well, and, Tom's pro it. and Tom proves it. That's the, that's yeah. the key. And I've been proving it as well. I'm not yeah. uh, I'm as good at, as Tom at the intraday stuff. And, uh, I'm 65. I know I'm still a spring chicken compared to yourself, but uh, I'm uh, uh, trying to get away from the intraday stuff. Although I have, I traded intraday yesterday, but I trade intraday when I feel like it. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. sit, I don't sit down and do that every day. Uh, but in two to three day trades, three to five day trades uh, in the forex market, and especially in the uh, uh, stock market uh, mm -hmm. with shares that are undervalued shares that are growing the earnings strongly and safely. Uh, adding to a winning position yeah. works absolutely wonderful. Listen, David, we're going to have you on again. How about next Friday? Would you be able to give us another few minutes next Friday? Yes, and uh, I'll, hey. uh, I'll, I'll talk about the Wyckoff Spring as well, which is my oh, favorite. Oh, oh that'd be great. Great. Thank you. Dr. David Cheers. Paul, be on next Friday. Thank you. God bless you, Dave. Cheers, Larry. God bless. You Bye. Bet. Bye-bye. Okay, play a few bills here, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. 
Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Well, folks, I have to say, that's a good match set we have on Fridays from now on. We've got them in for a long-term contract. At least one Friday to the next. We'll see what happens. By the way, folks, uh, we don't get inside information in these markets very often, but by golly, it's happened. This morning, I guess it was on Bloomberg or CNBC, Leon Cooperman, one of the, the bright stars of the hedge fund business, one of the most successful guys around, gave us some inside information. He said if Jennifer, not Jennifer, Elizabeth Warren got elected, the stock market would not, would not open the next day. So that's your inside information. We'll, <laughs> we'll see, see how that works out. We'll do one thing at a time. Anyway, it's sort of a joke. By the way, also yesterday, with that big move that we had in the E-mini S&P, the open interest in all of the stock indices dropped yesterday, boys and girls. That's a very unusual situation, but could happen to keep going for a long time, just like notes and bonds did. But I wanted to share you a really cool chart from um, Rich Anderson. Uh, in fact, there's two of them here that I wanted to share. We'll have Rich on next week also, but if you'll take a look at this, this is a negative interest rates uh, around Europe. As you can see here, uh, the ones that are in the, in the purple color are all negative at the half a percent. The yellows are negative at a quarter percent. And then the uh, blues, which is Denmark, is uh, minus uh, 7.7, 7, th three, minus three quarters of a point. But can you imagine negative interest rates like that, folks? I just, to, the, to me, it, it just does not make any sense. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's the other one that I wanted to show you that's also that Rich uh, forwarded on is long term, but and this one troubles me a great deal because I ask myself why in the world is the Federal Reserve joining uh, dropping interest rates with the stocks at all time high? Well, they're I mean, it's all time high and going higher. Anyway, but look at this, folks. This is going back to 1995. Remember we had the uh, the Clinton impeachment, and here we are 20 some years later, and we've got another impeachment going. But you can see here when the, the the Fed has dropped interest rates. They've never dropped it at the top of the market. So uh, they must see something that we don't see. All I know is that they follow the market. They don't lead the market. That much I'm 100% sure of. And I just don't think that that's going to be uh, too much of a, of a problem. I already discussed the tree drive pattern in the natural gas. It did go down and make the pro profit objective. So we should be bouncing in the natural gas. How much we get, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure. Now, the euro is still uh, in the process of moving high 
higher. Let's get this up here because this is related to the dollar index. And if you take a list, uh, the, 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 you're right, Mr. Steve, that it is political with those interest rates. There's no question about it. So we'll see what happens. You notice the support that we had there in the euro at the 382. That's at the uh, 11080 level. Folks, yesterday I sent out a a artic uh, article, what am I talking about article? I sent out a uh, video on gold, the fact that we had that $32 run from 84 up to uh, 17, uh, 15, 17, down to uh, 1484, there's 30, $33. And I, sec I said we should look for a very, very shallow $11 retracement. And that's exactly what we got today. We got down to uh, 15, 10 and a half, 15, excuse me, 15.05 and a half. And um, that, uh, and we've rallied about seven dollars from there. If we can clear that fifteen seventeen today, folks, we've got a shot at gold uh, making fifteen thirty five really quickly. I'm expecting something really big um, to see what's going to happen. Oh, dear. Here we go with the politics again. Let's not get into that. Okay. There's lots of opinions on that stuff, so we'll see how that goes on. I'm not going to get into that. That's like a, oh, that's not something that I want to talk about. All right. Uh, yeah, we're back at that level in the E-mini up there. At the, uh, actually, if it gets above, I think he said 3065. Yeah, if he said if it, if the S and P got about 3065, he was throwing all his books out into the Thames River, and that was it. All right, let's move on to a couple other ones that I wanted to uh, talk about. Um, we covered the euro; that was a very important one. The the pound is another one, folks. The pound is uh, right back to this level here. Um, the, these currencies are acting pretty good. That means the dollar is weakening a little bit. So uh, whether that affects anything in the longer run or not, but as you can see with that British pound, it snapped right back. All of these corrections we've had in the currencies have been really minor. And so just watch that. That's very, very, uh, very, very important. Uh, that, from my perspective, is just looking at this stuff. You know, that's really what I'm watching. So that's uh, the main thing. I'm having all kinds of data problems today, so I'm not in the not in the absolute best of moods. But uh, that's neither neither here nor there. Uh, one of the questions that someone asked me yesterday was, how was the market acting? You know, during the uh, impeachment of uh, President. Uh, um, Clinton, you know, way back in, uh, I think it was 98 when he was in preach. I just, I did the long-term chart here, and you can see the market uh, uh, continued to go up, all up, up into 2000. Of course, you know, that was the dot-com bubble, and then the market, you know, gave back about 65% uh, of its thing, and then in the 07, we had the uh, housing bubble, and uh, that gave back 85%, and now we have... We have no bubbles at all right now. All we have is balloons. And I don't know if there's ever going to be a correction here, but just looking at this chart here at the very far right, you can see that three drive to a top pattern forming. I don't know when it's going to come in, but boys and girls, when it does, this old cowboy is going to be ready. That's all I can say. I certainly know how to find it once it's there, so we'll see. Anyway, we'll move on from that level um, to see what's going to happen. Okay, let's move on to uh, one other one here that uh, someone asked us about. Uh, that was the Canadian dollar. If you remember that Canadian dollar, we were watching it very, very close. Oh, we got to cut, but let's do the Canadian dollar first. This Canadian dollar, folks, let me show you what happened. We went down to the Canadian dollar. The market went, um, it went 30 points. A hundred and fifty dollars. Excuse me. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, it went like hundred and fifty dollars under the price objective we were looking at, and then rallied a thousand dollars. We got them all the way up to almost thirty-two, one thirty-two in the Canadian dollar. So that's that. All of these patterns, the Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar, the euro, all of them came in. Look, look at the Australian dollar. It was doing the same thing. You know, when they made those bottoms down there, it was telling you they've got, now they've completed some ABCDs at major resistance. That's why we're coming into some really key times as we're looking at these things. So we want to pay very, very close, uh, very, very close attention to these. That's for sure. Anyway, that's what we want to keep watching. And we'll see uh, what's going to happen with them. And we'll uh, move on to that level. And we'll go from there. We've got uh, the gold got up to 1513. That's pretty good. Nice $8 rally from the bottom. And we've got the bonds. Uh, they're still down just a tad on the day, but don't look too bad. If we look at the bonds here through the eyes of the notes, which is the one that uh, we've been 
Um, this is the bonds. I, I do have it up. Let's get the bond chart up here. We ran into some resistance here yesterday at that uh, 161.20. We sold off to 160.20 earlier this morning, and we bounced back a little bit from there. I think we're, here's the same situation. You've had this really strong thrust coming off of that bottom. We had the three drives to a bottom down there. There's the rally that we had, and we got bonds and stocks rallying together. So uh, that, that in itself is another interesting one. So we'll watch that uh, very, very closely, too. So those are the uh, main ones. We've got the break coming up. So I hope you enjoyed our guests today. We're going to have them on every Friday, and uh, we'll be able to see what happens. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got the stock market and new high ground again here as it opens in the first half hour of trading, and we'll see how it ends up today. We just hit that magical number again, 3055, so we're going to see if it makes 3058 and uh, 305, 3060, 3065, actually. We'll see uh, what happens with that. Anyway, let's move on here uh, to the next one. Uh, the crude oil has had a pretty good bounce here. We were looking for it to bounce. 
uh, and it's it's come in. So whether we're going to see whether it's going to continue bouncing or not, uh, we don't know. But as you can see here, we we pulled it back. Let's just get this up here so we can remind you folks that we had this uh, A B C D pattern. We pulled all the way down, folks, to the 61% retracement of the C leg down there at 53 and change, and now we're back up to 55 and change, heading towards uh, looks like another A B C D pattern in the crude oil could be lining up. So watch that. that major support there in the in the gold today at 1505 $11 sell off it's all we had and it looks like it's ready to uh want to go to the upside. So uh, how much higher it's going to go? It needs to clear 1522. If we clear that 1522, that sets up an easy 1537, which is the 78% retracement off the high that we made back on September at 1565. So it's starting to look a little bullish here uh, in the gold, which uh, is uh, not too surprising, but that's what we're watching here as we look. The soybeans still look good. Uh, we're trading uh, still above the 382, which is good in the March soybeans that we're following. I think that one looks okay. And I still think uh, the natural gas has a lot of support down there at the low we had today at uh, 258. So that should wind up the show for today. And I want to thank you for all listening to us with our two guests, Tom Hugard, Trader Tom, and Dr. David Paul of VectorVest. It was really great. And we'll be able to see that. Oh, I can't answer any questions about the VIX, uh, Jimmy, because I know so little about it. All I know is it's related to uh, volatility. And when the stock market goes up forever, there is no volatility. So that's it.